Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply foundation step by step. And I'm using a brand new foundation for myself today. I'm using the Christian Dior foundation, which is Dior Skin Forever. This is a full coverage long wear foundation and it has SPF 35, which is pretty high. So I'm excited to see how this applies, how it looks, does it do or deliver as it's promising. And I'm gonna give you my full review on that. As with any application video, I always recommend that you prep your skin properly before you apply foundation because this is going to be a key factor in having beautiful, flawless skin, not only for that day, but long term. So as you're doing this every single day and get into the habit of a beautiful skincare routine, it's very important that you take this into consideration if you're looking for that beautiful, flawless makeup application, as well as beautiful skin. To prep my skin today, I started with the Glow Toner by Mint Pear, which is the Rose Water and Aloe Vera. This is really moisturizing. It also is going to help balance the pH in my skin. I then followed with the Collagen Serum because I want to combat all of those wrinkles that are creeping up. And this really helps to boost my collagen production and fill in those wrinkles and give me that nice, beautiful glow. After my serum, I apply the Vitamin Rich Daily Moisturizer and the under eye nourishing cream. Now because this is a matte foundation, I have also applied two drops of the rose hip oil and this will help my skin which is dry and aging. It will really help to get that flawless smooth move it. It will really help to make sure that this matte foundation doesn't crack or crease in my lines. It's really gonna help that movability and keeping it beautiful and flawless all day long. I went with the shade 020. And here we have it. Following the rose hip oil, I'm going to prime with the Laura Mercier primer, which has quickly become one of my favorite primers. You always want to use a primer before you're applying foundation, and this goes after you have applied all of your skincare. I'm just going to use a pea size amount all over my skin. I'm just really pressing this into my skin in my trouble area. So you'll see I have this in my T-zone and my forehead, my crow's feet. I always get these little smiley lines because I'm just such a happy person. Yum, yum, yum. Just pressing that in. Now because I have so much skincare going on, it's really important that I'm not wiping my skin. So as you can see, I'm just continuing to really press this into my skin. Now I'm gently pressing it in. I'm not beating my face up, but I'm just making sure that my skin is absorbing all of these products. And I'll take this down onto my neck. I'm going to apply this foundation today with the Mint Pear Flat Top Kabuki brush because I love it. I'm gonna go with three pumps and just see how that works for me. I like to start by just distributing the foundation all over my face. And then I'm going to take little downward strokes to blend this in. And then I take that up into my hairline and onto my ears. So it's it's actually really it's really pretty. I don't feel like the coverage is like way heavy. So with three pumps, 
I think I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I'm gonna go with two more pumps. So that's five pumps. And I just wanna see how the coverage is because you can still see through my foundation here. So I just want to really give it a fair shot out of the coverage. Now if you want light coverage, um, that's a perfect amount. Just those first three pumps. Did I do three pumps or two pumps? <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> Dior skin, what does that mean? It means like expensive skin. <laughs> fancy, I feel so fancy. Okay, so that's five pumps. And looking up closely, I feel like it, it looks really nice. It kind of tingles, that's kind of weird. So let's talk about a few things that I like. I do like that it's kind of like a powdery coverage. It's definitely not like a thick paint over my skin, which they do talk about. They wanted it to be a full coverage long wear that doesn't look like a mask. So they do want you to see a little bit of your skin through there, which they did accomplish. The one thing that I do want to mention is that I do smell fragrance, which is typical of a lot of the high-end foundations like Lancome and Christian Dior. They always have a type of perfume, it, whether it's their skincare or their foundation, that's very standard for them. Now, I make sure that I don't have any any fragrance in my skincare, so I can definitely smell this now that it's on my face. If that doesn't bother you, then that's not a problem. I can see this being problematic for me to smell this all day long. Um, maybe it will go away after I've worn it for a little bit. But it's not a deal breaker, it's just something that you need to know that this does have fra I can definitely smell fragrance in this foundation. So I smell fancy and extra expensive. Your skin just smells expensive. This foundation gave beautiful coverage. It's not a heavy, heavy foundation. It's very natural looking and I feel like it does allow you to build onto this. So if you do want to keep going, I could easily add more. I personally like this look. I like to be able to see a little bit of my skin through my foundation because I don't want to really look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. I like to look like my skin is just flawless and perfect when you can still kind of see through there and, and see a few of the imperfections. So final thoughts on this foundation is that it is a very beautiful foundation. It really does help to um, create a flawless canvas. I actually cannot believe there's 35 SPF in this because typically with any foundation that has that much SPF or any SPF, it's really hard to get a flawless, beautiful coverage that adheres to your skin and really sits well. Sometimes when there's a foundation with SPF, it just smears, it's transferable, but I do feel like this foundation is going to set in place and stay here as long as I set it with a setting powder. And um, yeah, I'm excited to wear this throughout the day. I'm really impressed that five pumps sit this well on my skin and looks this natural. Um, it does not look cakey. It doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on so I'm actually impressed with their formula and uh, Again, this is shade 20. So if you guys have any questions about how this wore throughout the day um, Just leave comments below and I'll be sure to let you know how I felt about it by the end of the day It should be long wear so it's gonna last quite some time today looking pretty flawless Thank you so much for watching this video and if you would like to see how I continue the rest of this look, I will be creating the remainder of this look in my next video. Thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can see more videos from me and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when the new ones do hit the new channel and thank you so much for your support. Have a beautiful day.